If you're interested in learning more basic Junos commands, be sure to check out our Introduction to the Junos Operating System course. For full details, just visit juniper.net slash courses and search for the course in the keyword search box. You can also see our complete learning paths at juniper.net slash learning paths. Now let's get to your learning bite. Hello and welcome to this learning bite on how to view the rescue configuration file. My name is Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this learning byte, you will be able to explain the purpose of a rescue configuration file and also create and view the contents of a rescue configuration. What is a rescue configuration? A rescue configuration is a copy of the active configuration on any Junos platform. It is not automatically created. An administrator must execute in operational mode a request system configuration rescue save command. Once that command is executed, a copy of the active configuration is created and it's stored locally on the device in the forward slash config directory with the file name of rescue.conf.gz. So I have just created with this request system configuration command a copy of the active config that's stored locally. At any point in the future, I can return the device to the configuration that was copied when I ran the request system configuration command by executing a rollback rescue. A rollback rescue will load the rescue.conf.gz file as my candidate configuration and if I execute a commit command, I can return the device to the configuration that's stored in the rescue configuration file. How do I view the rescue configuration? There's a couple of commands that we're going to look at in this learning byte. The first one is the file list command that we will use just to verify whether or not a rescue config is currently present on the platform. And if it is, we can use a file show command to view its contents. Let's take a look at how these commands work. I have a console connection to an SRX 240 device. I'm going to use the file list command to see whether or not a rescue configuration is present on this device. A file list command allows me to do a directory listing of any portion of the file system I would like to view. And I would like to look in the forward slash config folder because remember, that's where the rescue config is automatically stored. So by performing a file list command, I can see there's no rescue.conf.gz file currently present, so there is no rescue config present on this platform. I'm going to execute a request system configuration rescue save command to create a rescue config. Now remember, when I hit enter, a copy of the current active configuration is created, stored in the forward slash config folder as rescue.conf.gz. Once it's done, I'm going to execute the file list command just to verify the rescue.comp file is there. And at the bottom of the output, I can see the rescue.conf.gz file. Now remember, the purpose of this learning byte was actually to see the contents. Remember, if I am going to roll back to this configuration at some time in the future, I might like to be able to see the contents of the file that I'm rolling back to. And we can do that with a file show command. This allows us to view the contents of any file. And I'm going to specify the path to and the name of my rescue configuration file. Once I hit enter, I can view the contents of my rescue configuration and verify whether or not this is a file I might like to load at some point and roll the device's configuration back to. So the file list and the file show are how we can view the contents of a rescue config. 
In summary, in this learning byte, we explained the purpose of a rescue configuration file and created and viewed the contents of a rescue config. For more information about Juniper Education Services training and certification offerings, please visit our website. Thank you. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.